Hi, I'm Tannic Sims 2, but you can call me Tanny. And since you seem to enjoy the first episode of this new series, we are back with our Gothic with three Fs Queen, Canoe Tanny. And today's mission is, of course, uh, kissing Mumbo Loa. I'm hoping to finish all that needs to be done today um, in the curio shop and this sort of area so we can go to the next location hopefully for the next part but also more importantly I need to kiss Mambo. That's where we left off in the last one. I learned how to eat food. It was a beautiful moment. It's like learning my toddler skills all over again. You came back for your next task. <laughs> I can either be like really eager, really like keen or I can be a little like standoffish, a little hard to get, you know, and say like, groan <laughs> role playing, I guess. Um well I wanna kiss her. And you're not gonna be able to kiss her if you like don't be nice. <laughs> That's how it works. Trust me, I'm an expert. She pranked me. I'm actually like having a crisis. Like, do I want to kiss her now? She did actually I actually did deserve that prank in. And it was a good prank. All right, she said, well, too bad. I got no task for you. Go check on your car. Awesome, thank you. So this when I look around, there's just hidden cameras. I was like, Ashton Kutch is there. And he's like, oh, you've been punked. All right, I'm going to go outside for the first time ever in my life. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what's missing? Oh, something's gone. Oh, no. Ah, oh, where is the... <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> the phone's ringing. Yeah, just stare at it. I'll need to Google the number. Like, I'm not just gonna answer a random phone. It could be anyone. Well, it's telling me I have to. Ugh, do it begrudgingly. <sighs> I guess this phone is just mine now. Like, <laughs> it's just like, this is yours now. All right. And it's the insurance scam fraud people saying hello have you lost something have you been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault i can't read all this <laughs> actually yes i seem to have misplaced my car and my mechanic and his shop or i can just like really be mean not in the mood for this what have you done with my car you scoundrel and actually i don't like this man so i'm gonna go with that option Oh, I don't like how he talks so much. He can shut up now. I don't like him. First impressions of, like, I'm, I'm not, like, aware, like, <laughs> of what he does. I don't know who he is. He's totally not the antagonist, is he? I wouldn't know. I've never played this game before, right? Why? I haven't done anything. That's what guilty people say. Right now, I'm about 12 miles away from you. Wish you were about 12 feet under. Sorry? What? Who said that? Too far to have had a hand in your misfortune. I don't like that he's a bit too cheeky, but not in a good way, not in a good cheeky way, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, prove it. Then how did you know to call this phone? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I can hardly prove anything to you from way over here, but I have an idea. Well, I don't want to hear it, but I have to. <sighs> Go on then. <laughs> you should come work for me. I've been looking for a new assistant. Assist assistant for weeks. I hope my job isn't reading. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I mean, why'd the last one quit, you know? You gotta think about these things. Work for you, why? Well, with your car missing, you'll need some means of making money until you can get on your feet again. I can either be like, oh, that's true. But I don't want to agree with him because I don't like this man. Look at him. He's, he's just like, oh, I don't trust him. So I'm going to tell him, trust you is the last thing I'll do. You don't have to trust me. That's what they always say. It's like, you don't have to trust me. It's like, well, now I'm not gonna. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My money is all you need. Hmm, debatable. Just do the job, take the cash and never speak to me again. And then we say this, this absolute, what do the kids say? They say, oh, savage, yeah? Brutal. <laughs> All right, I like it, especially the last part. Yeah, never speak to him again. I mean, I would just smash the phone up if I were Canute Tani, but I'm not Canute Tani, so. And my sim is kind of programmed by, you know, the AI. Not the AI, the code. <laughs> I know the computers. <laughs> the first thing you need to do is get a ride to Paradise Place. I'm gonna ask what that is. I'm gonna ask what is Paradise Place. It sounds like hell, I've gotta be honest. 
It is the neighbourhood where I live here in Strange Town. I'm sure you'll love it. I don't actually like how, like, presumptuous he is. I don't like that he assumes things about me. He's like, you know what they say, if you make, if you, d- asshole. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Then you should secure yourself a home nearby. I pay well, but I don't provide free lodging. I don't like this man. I don't like him one bit, but whatever. I do need a place to stay. That's what I was gonna say. So I need a ride and a place to stay. That's literally what I just said. Yes, don't bother trying to get here until you have both. The outdoors here are quite wild. Well, I do have to hand it to him. He is a bit like, that is nice. I'm glad that he cares a little bit about me, but I'm not happy about it. Do you get, like, I'm glad, but I'm not happy. Walking across the desert and living on the street are both quite dangerous pursuits and I won't have you getting killed. I appreciate that. All right, so he's not that bad then. <laughs> he, has, he has some like shred of morality, <laughs> a glimpse of a conscience. I'm gonna say I appreciate that because I have no, there is no other option. That's all I'm allowed to say. I may contact you again on this cell phone. Are you sure you know how to use it? Why don't you give me a quick reminder just in case? I've done this before. Well, no, I haven't. I've never played this game before. So I'm going to ask him for a quick reminder. Just in case though. Living in Strange Town has its perks. Uh, cell phones, gadgets, special skills, things of that nature. I mean, to be fair, I think any place, you can go anywhere and it would have a cell phone, at least one cell phone, a few gadgets <laughs> and things of that nature. To use a perk, simply select the one you want. I'm not reading the controls, I'll forget. And then activate it, press, yeah, okay. Sounds easy enough, excellent. Then I will see you when you arrive. Bye. <laughs> Ew, he was calling me at like four in the morning as well. Oh, gee. He was calling me at four in the morning as well, which I didn't actually appreciate. Wasn't there some trash? I saw someone. I was coming out of the curio shop. I saw some trash. Maybe it was the phone. <laughs> Maybe it was the man on the other end. Ha, what, what a funny joke. Subscribe for more jokes. I swear I saw trash. And no, it wasn't my sim because my sim is not trash. What do I need to do again? Oh, there. This is the trash I wanted. I want it. I just want it because, like, it's there. And also because it gets you some money. But it does make you a bit stinky. Um, This guy has a car and... Bit weird. This guy has a car. And I need a car. I'm going to talk to him as much as I don't want to. I don't know why I'm rocking out, but but he's enjoying it and he says you're doing all right there kid actually i think he's a bit worried for me <laughs> you look lost the second option is not very nice it's a bit too mean like new tanny she's sassy but she knows how to tone it down like she thinks of her audience <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's fair to be mean to this guy for like, you know, I've only just met him and he he doesn't offend me like like the phone guy does. My car broke down. I'm just killing time till it's fixed or I can just straight up insult him. But that doesn't seem like it would benefit me. <laughs> I could say, yeah, well, you look stupid. Guess we've all got our problems. And I think that's just projection. I think she's deeply insecure if she has to insult people like that, even if his jacket and his, uh, what's his called shirt is a bit low res that's fine i'm just i'm not gonna insult him i can't i don't actually have the energy my car broke down i'm just yeah okay so is there anything i can do to help oh there's too many options right okay i can tell him oscar's garage just disappeared or i can tell him i'm looking for a ride into town which is true but does he have a place i could stay for a while where exactly am i anyway no i'm fine i'll talk to you later I'll ask if he has a place, you know, just in, oh, just in case. Oh, what a ham, good ham, ham, poem. Ham, ham. You want to come and live with me? I don't know. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Why wouldn't your wife like it? Why not? I'm a great roommate. You know what? Me neither. I don't actually want to be rude to him because I do actually want to kiss him. I've decided I want to kiss all the sims in this game. I'm all about equality. There's a new cheeky chad in town. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's Kanu <Kenny> Danny. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss all of them within reason. I'd rather big myself up than put someone else down. So I'm just gonna say I'm a great roommate. I'm gonna sell myself. Well, let's just say I've got personal reasons, okay? Okay, sorry I are. <laughs> sorry for having a conversation with you then. And then it's just back to, is there anything I can do to help? All right, well, he's got a car, so I'm gonna ask. 
Actually, I'm looking for a ride into town, and he says, I wouldn't mind a drive myself, but I've got a bit of a problem. What's that? Or I can be sarcastic, a bit stereotypical as well, and just tell him, you're out of donuts, aren't you, hon? I don't think there's a Krispy Kreme anywhere near this place. I'm gonna be a bit sarcastic. Exactly, how did you know? Lucky guess, I'm an amazing super sleuth from outer space, or I can read minds. I don't like any of these options. (laughs) I have to be honest with you. They're all a bit like, mm, a bit like slim pickings, isn't it? I'm gonna say lucky guess just because it's like the least annoying. <laughs> Sorry. See, Mum below I just told me she's out of donuts, but I know she's got a secret stash somewhere. Love this lore, this intertwining of characters. <laughs> The storyline's connecting. I need you to find out where her donuts are. Intimidate her. And bring them to me. I love that I say done. Like, I haven't done it yet. How do I do that? Will it hurt? Don't we need a search warrant? I don't want to intimidate her, though. I want to kiss her. Can I do both? Can I kiss her intimidatingly? <laughs> so, it's an adverb. Alright, I'll kiss her first. And then it will soften the blow of intimidating her. Actually, I think I'm a lover, not a fighter. Like, <laughs> what if I just kiss her? She's like, then she could just be like, all right, the donuts are here then. And she can even give you me, give me some extra because I'm such a good kisser. Because, you know, I'm a cheeky chad. All right, I'm just going to say done because I'm bored now. <laughs> This man is a bit boring, to be honest. I'm not sure if I want to kiss him. All right, just come back when you've got him and I'll give you a ride into town. Deal. Sounds like blackmail. I want to learn an intimate secret. That means I have to, like, do naughty, sinful things with another sim. Change appearance. I don't know why I want to change appearance when I am perfect the way I am already. I want to kiss her. Can I just ask her where's the donut? Yeah, there we go. Yes, what would you like today? Some low prices, perhaps? I love that she, like, asked me that, like, we haven't met before. Like, it's my first time in her shop. (laughs) I'm looking for some delicious donuts. Just ask her. Just, I think that's what you need to do. You just need to be polite. And you don't have to fight people. Oh, no. I see in your heart that you seek to deceive. Honest, all I want is a donut. (laughs) Or I can be honest and say, you caught me. I'm getting a donut for Duncan. Duncan, Duncan, Duncan Donuts. (laughs) That's a thing, isn't it? (laughs) In the America. Can you help me out? I'm just, just be honest. Like I said, like you should just be like up front. Oh, gee. If Duncan wants a donut, you can tell him to get his own self. Ooh, I don't like her when she's angry. I'm not sure if I want to intimidate her. She's intimidating me right now. All right, fine. Actually, I don't. I didn't like her tone. She was a bit hostile there. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So, I was, and I think she deserves the intimidation I'm about to um, <laughs> invoke. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the verb. <laughs> intimidate. I'm gonna intimidate her now. Okay. All right. I'm really good at this. Okay. Okay. Oh shh. I jinxed it, sorry, it's because I said I'm really good at this that I just forgot what square was. Oh, oh! I pressed P, sorry, square. I don't actually like this anymore. I know I said like she deserves this, but I've changed my mind. Halfway through, like you get in the middle of a fight and you're like, actually, I don't think this is the right, you know, this isn't the answer. <laughs> oh, look, she's crying. Oh, I didn't like that one bit, but can you, Tanny? But she's reveling in it. Reveling in in it. (laughs) Trash donuts. Mum Beloa hides her donuts in the trash can in the restroom. Gross! No one asked for your opinion. Yeah, let me apologise to her. I have to pay money. Oh, I don't care that much. (laughs) Alright, so it's in here. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna... I'm just getting myself a a snack. (laughs) Mmm. Yummy. (laughs) I think he'll just appreciate the effort I went to. The friendship I just lost. You know what? I don't like this man and I don't actually want to kiss him anymore. Um, Just because that's like really... I don't like that, that approach. But I got his donuts and so, you know, I think that's a fair trade. I get your trash donuts, your stinky trash donuts and you let me in your stinky car. Howdy partner, how are things going? You know, the usual 
pretty awful, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna say pretty awful. I mean, he's just programmed to say this <laughs> all the time. So, is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> I love an NPC moment. Why well, I have to repeat myself. Say, oh, I'm looking for a ride into town, and it'll be like the first time he's heard of it. Like, oh, do you have the donuts? Yes, hand them over. No. <laughs> what if I just said no? <laughs> What if I ate them? What would happen? Would I break the game? Yeah, I'm gonna be like, ooh, sly. I don't actually care. What happens if I just eat the donuts? Am I allowed to do that? What if I just ate this? <gasps> I can. I don't know if I should. Hey Siri, <laughs> can you flip a coin please? I always do that with Siri. I make her flip a coin <laughs> to decide big decisions. And heads is do what you want to do and tails is don't do it or do the thing you want to do least and she said tails i'm afraid so i'm not gonna eat the donut i'm really sorry what would happen i want to know but like no i'm a serious gamer i am a serious sims 2 player <laughs> this is a serious let's play you don't come to my channel for jokes <laughs> i'm just gonna say you know the usual either way he says <laughs> Is, is there anything I can do to help? He's actually a really kind man. I'm gonna tell him I need a ride to town. Oh. Yes, I put your treasure donuts. Mm, delicious donuts. Um, those were in the trash. Mm, trash donuts, my favorite. This man's a bit weird, isn't he? About that ride. Do you have a place to stay once you get there? No. I thought I'd just stay in your car, mate. Well, I'm not driving you all that way just to be a... I'm really sorry. I don't know that word. I'm so sorry. Vagrant? Listen, I went to art school and got a degree in words. <laughs> I'm not helping myself. Um, Find yourself a home. You sound like the government. Oh, yeah, he is the government. Okay, I'll be back when I found a place to crash. Actually, I'll be back when I've kissed Mamba Loa. That's all I care about. I need to go apologise to her. Not with money, but with a kiss. I'm sure she'll really appreciate that. Actually, how much does she want for me to apologise to her? Not much, surely. Ten simoleons. That's nothing. Like, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm, I'm homeless, <laughs> but... Right, I don't care about anything else right now. I really want to kiss her. And actually, I want to unlock an intimate secret, so I might actually go like um, to the the top level. <laughs> um, keep it PG. <laughs> oh sh! Oh, I clicked. I pressed before the thingy came up. Oh, I'm um, I've lost my cheeky Chad rank. Oh no, nope, I've saved it. It's the Mohawk, isn't it? It's just irresistible, aren't I? <laughs> I'm flirt again and I'm gonna actually like really concentrate so don't distract me. Strange town better watch out. Kanutani is about. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, uh, hands. Hands. She really likes hands. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> I do feel fulfilled but um my sim wants to learn an intimate secret. I'm also obsessed with the lack of jealousy in this game. <laughs> <laughs> like in the PC version of The Sims 2, the jealousy is like super like exaggerated. You know, if you just have a crush on a Sim, it's an unrequited crush and they don't feel the same way and they, they're married and you see them just like flirting with their husband or whatever and you get mad at them. Or even it can be like, isn't it like even if they reject a flirt, even if your crush, your unrequited one-sided crush rejects a flirt, they can still get jealous over it. But in this game, there's absolutely none of that. And I think that's really progressive. All right, one last flirt. Then we're gonna learn her intimate secret. I'm... Oh, she had to like adjust my headphones. I thought I lost it. No, I can do this. I'm really good at this. <laughs> Oh, it's just telling me to press O all the time. It knows that um, I have a very small brain. <laughs> ah! Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. She's just so beautiful. She's distracting me. That must be it. Can't be me. I'm gonna learn it now. Right? What does she? What will she tell me? 
What a beautiful moment. Secrets of the Mambo, when she gets that thousand mile stare in her eyes, you know she's in love or insane. That was a bit naff actually. I was expecting, why is it shouting at me? By perks, you just earned 2,000 sanity points. Don't let them burn a hole in your pocket. I wasn't going to. Select buy perks from the My Sim screen to spend them on special. My throat is attacking me. Special abilities. Awesome. Well, I've learned an intimate secret. And most importantly, I've kissed Mambo. And now she's back to her programmed NPC behavior as a vendor. Learn a personal secret. Should I do that? I kind of want to get my sanity up quite tight. Tight? <laughs> quite high. I'll try and get to platinum before I get to the next location. Just for personal reasons. Don't ask, actually. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chat with her. Oh, oh, it gets a bit hard when it's like related pictures, related topics. Um, I get a bit confused, it's a bit too much. Oh, it's just too exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I bet you're on the edge of your seat, you're hanging off, basically. At how exciting this gameplay is. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't looking correctly and I saw like the circle, the blue circle, so I was like, oh, it must be that. But it wasn't. Interesting. It's just tennis, cooking, spatula, oil, fracking, <laughs> toys, toys. <laughs> the earth is square. The earth is square? <laughs> New conspiracy just <laughs> this square school hat jelly <laughs> i'm not even like putting this on i'm actually really stressed like my feet are like cramping with stress that's what ha that's the symptom of stress she's pondering her orb and i'm pondering it too we're in this together now hats weather a robot next ray she's full of like topics you know she's such a good conversational person secrets of the mambo is this like unique to her that it will say secrets of the mambo instead of like like instead of saying like mambo's intimate secret mambo's dark secret whatever they're called um instead it will say secrets of the mambo like the the secrets that are, like scattered around like the occult ones the, the other ones <laughs> Mamba Loa uses mild head shrinking techniques to keep her hair in line. And I think she's allowed to. She's having a great time. Anyway, I'm platinum now. So I'm having a great time too. I don't know why I want to intimidate someone. I think I'm drunk on the power. <laughs> you do it once and then you're like, oh. I haven't spoken to Bella yet. Hey, hun, can you get off the phone? I'm more important. I know I was like just kissing someone else like in your, your eye vision view. Please, can you talk to me? I'm needy. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Please make it quick, I have to leave. I thought what we had was special. And then I just say the exact same things that I would say to Duncan. Like I said, I thought we had something special. Actually, I'm looking for a place to stay or could I get a ride into town? Well, I need a place to stay. I've got a ride into town. Oh, she's, she's, she's on it. Really, that's perfect. I've been looking for someone to sell my house to. To sell your what? <laughs> like it's a weird concept that she's selling a house. I'm not looking to buy anything. I just need a place to crash. I like that. I like that she's got a bit of a freeloading spirit in her. I think that's really, really, um, really knutani. Really gothic actually. It's not, but like, but like, I make the rules on what's gothic with three Fs. Well, I'm leaving town and never coming back. You can buy my house or you can sleep in the shop here. <laughs> I think she's being a bit sarcastic and sassy with me. <sighs> I don't like your tone. How much you asking for it? Oh, only about 900,000 simoleons. I do have a kidney that I don't need. It's not mine. It's just, you know, in my fridge. That's it's been kind of lying around for a while. They could go for quite a lot of money. Yeah, about 900,000. I can get for that. 900,000. What kind of mansion are we talking about here? It's called the Espiritu Estate. Wow, that's so on the nose. But I'm not going to tell you why. You'll have to find out next time. <laughs> 
It's just a little summer home. Is that too expensive? She's so rich. She's so like, she's so out of touch. (laughs) I'm sorry, Bella, but yes, it's expensive. Or I can be really, I can be a real comedian, real prankster and say, hmm, maybe if I sell a few organs, which is what I said. I've got a few lying around. Get a loan from the mafia. Write my novel. This is calling me out. This game is saying, why aren't you writing a book right now? (laughs) Why are you why are you playing Sims 2? <laughs> my degree. I have it like it looms over me when I record. <laughs> Just look at it like one day. <laughs> one day I'll write that book. Well, how much is in your wallet right now? Not much. Sold. I could say what or huh. <laughs> They're different. <laughs> different nuances i don't understand how like money works i'm gonna say sold out i bet it'd be the same answer regardless of what you choose (laughs) can you move in today great (laughs) all right (laughs) everyone's a bit presumptuous here great just empty your pockets and the estate is yours well if i empty my pockets it's just gonna be like full of trash (laughs) I have 290 simoleons and um, some trash. (laughs) Uh, The estate is yours. I give you all my money. Don't like it when you shout at me. It's a 900,000 simoleon house and you're getting it for pocket change. Take it or leave it. (laughs) She is a bit hostile and I don't like her tone. All right, I'm just gonna take it. Like, I do need a house. Goodbye, money. I didn't need you anyway. Thanks. I wish I could give you a ride into town, but I don't have a car. And besides, I'm never going back to that horrible place again. My voice. (laughs) Oh, hey, no problem. I think. There's something wrong with this Espiritu estate, isn't there? I'm gonna ask if there's something wrong. Wrong with it? What could be wrong? It's a perfectly good house. Does the roof leak? Is there something wrong with the wiring? Maybe a bad smell? No, no, the house is perfect. It even comes with a maid. You just sold me a maid? Isn't that illegal? (laughs) I'm gonna go with that. I didn't sell her to you. She's just worked there for a long time and doesn't want to leave. Have you asked her? Because these sims can be very presumptuous and just assume things about people. That's not at all creepy. You don't have to pay her if you don't want to. I don't think she even eats. (laughs) What is she, a robot? Wow, are you evil? Because what you just said sounded awesomely evil. I don't like the use of the word awesomely there, so I'm just gonna ask. Is she a robot? Ha <laughs> robot, how silly. What a silly, silly idea. Robots aren't even real. Well, must be running along now. See ya. <laughs> Bye. And then she just doesn't go anywhere because I don't think she's allowed to leave. Am I done here? <laughs> Oh, yeah yeah i am oh that's brilliant actually i there is one last thing i need to do i've got a bone to pick <laughs> oh do i want to intimidate um duncan because my sim wants to she wants to intimidate someone i don't think that would be very <gasps> wait there's a secret there <laughs> that's more important i don't care about anything else right now Secrets of romance. If the woman you love is always nearby but never seems to notice you, stop stalking her. Quality advice. This game ahead of its time, honestly. There's some more trash here. Not Duncan. No, Duncan's alright. Like, I don't hate him. That doesn't mean I like him, it just means I don't I don't hate him. Oh no, my sanity has gone down. I don't like how he peers in there. It's a bit creepy. But I mean, I guess there's nothing else better for him to do than kick his car. He's not allowed anywhere else um, for the time being. He's not even allowed in the shop anyway. Yeah, he's been banned. (laughs) Right, well, this isn't because I want to intimidate him. I would actually want to kiss him just because I'm kissing everyone. And I don't think it's fair for people. Like, I don't want people to feel excluded. I want everyone to feel, like, included. I want them all to get a big kiss from me. (laughs) <laughs> but my sim wants to intimidate him so tell him he's wrong i don't know what he's wrong about but he's wrong he's a little s- scoundrel <laughs> i keep wanting to call it zero it's not zero it's oh i've made him cry he now doesn't need to take me anywhere like he can just be like no yeah like it says like duncan stark secret it doesn't say secrets of the duncan which 
I've got to admit, would actually be a lot funnier. <laughs> I'd love that. But yeah, we've got some deep lore now because that's what The Sims 2 does. Its lore is just next level. It's intertwining storyline. <laughs> when Mamba Loa rejected Duncan's advances, he started stalking her. <gasps> That's why he's peering in the shop. That's why he's peering in the shop. I don't like this man, then. That's secrets of romance or whatever. It's about him. I don't like this man. I don't like you. Actually, I don't... I don't want to kiss him. I don't even want to apologise. I can't anyway because I have no money. Yeah, um, no kisses for you. Do I leave it here? Or should I go to Paradise Place first? Or should we start at Paradise Place? No, I'll go there. <laughs> and do the outro there. So I've got to talk to him. Don't yell at me. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me because I've upset him. Well, sorry that you're not a cool... <laughs> I know what I want to say, I'm just like filtering it. You'll get on out of here if you know what's good for you. I'm sorry I made you mad, I'm just under a lot of stress or whatever. Nah, I'm just gonna be really nice because he does need to drive me there. Oh, he's one of those! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, alright, I'll forgive you but only because I'm a nice guy. That's what they all say. If you have to like say you're a nice guy, you probably aren't. I don't like this man. I don't trust him. I do not forgive him <laughs> for offending me with his presence. I don't like him. I, oh, it's not that I don't like him. I just don't trust him. Like, I feel vibes. His aura just, like, throws me off. But I'm gonna say thanks. Like, I don't mean it. You know, most people around here aren't as forgiving as I am. You make someone mad and you gotta pay the price. I know all about it already. I've intimidated everyone in town. I'm playing this game to be the biggest menace in Strange Town. And then he's just back to his program behaviour. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship, I think. All right, I'm gonna tell him. Right, I'm ready. Do you have a place to stay once you get there? Bella sold me her place. Great, well, whenever you're ready, just get into my car. I actually don't trust this man, but I have to for, the, for this game. My sanity's gone down. It's because I've been talking to him. Do I just get in without him? Do I just steal his car? Here we are, Paradise Place. Which house is mine? You're staying in the Espiritu Estate. I'll keep my car parked in front of it so you can find it. So he's not allowed to leave anymore. So this man is just gonna be a menace in my life. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> wow, it's huge. Bella sure has a lot of money and I can't even see it. Where is it? It's not that big. I've seen bigger. Oh, he's giving me money. I don't know if I forgive him, though. Yeah, and I noticed she took all of your money, too. Oh, sorry. Your money, too. <laughs> Here, have some of mine. Like, stalking a woman is because they rejected your advance. Like, that's fine. That's totally cool for Deputy Duncan. But stealing, he does cross the line. Like, that's where he draws the line. Whoa, where'd you get that? <gasps> He's a corrupt cop. Oh, you know, crime scenes, criminals, holes in the ground. I've got a whole pile of cash in the car. Wouldn't I have noticed it? I would have noticed that. <laughs> He's like, not anymore. <laughs> you don't have a pile of cash <laughs> anymore. Like, what? what pile of cash? I never saw a pile of cash. <laughs> it's just spilling out from my pockets. Um, all right, well, well, I guess I'd better head on in. Oh, it's a bit too many prepositions. Well, I guess I better head on in and meet my new maid. Yeah, quotes, because she might not be maid. She comes with the house, apparently. Two for one. You should walk around and meet all your neighbours, actually. Good people around here. Oh, don't tell me what to do, actually. You like trolling women, huh? Is that what you like? What can you tell me about them? Well, I don't know them that well <laughs> you've got isaac rossum rossum i'm gonna like just change the pronunciation depending on my mood so prepare for that in the next one <laughs> you've got isaac isaac R. we'll call him isaac R. <laughs> the inventor nothing else nothing else to say about him <laughs> hazel dente hazel dente you know i heard she's getting married again you don't say why is that what you like is that what you care about? Is that what you think a woman's worth? Who she's marrying? Recurring characters alert. There's the beakers, a couple of scientist types. <laughs> Implying they're not scientists, they're like types. <laughs> hey, moral, unethical scientists are scientists too. And of course, Dr. Nulo. That's that man who 
stole the garage. All right, I'll be sure to meet them all, thanks. Lots of doctors and scientists around here. What do you know about Dr. Nilo? Well, I do not care about that man, so I don't actually want to know. But I'm gonna inquire about the doctors. No kidding, that's what you get in a rich place like this. I guess so, well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop talking to me. <laughs> so long, come back and see me later on. I may have some work for you, dot, dot, dot. That's a bit ominous. I don't trust a man who eats donuts out of the trash. Sorry. Sorry if that offends my my subscribers who eat donuts out of the trash. Not you, you're fine. But Duncan, I don't I don't vibe with him. Sorry, I'm just going to say all right. Oh, finally. Oh, no, he wants to... He wants to speak to me again. Oh, he's a bit needy. Right, well, it's nap nap time because I'm tired now. <laughs> no, I am going to end it here just because it makes sense. <laughs> so in the next episode, we can, you know, settle in. Um, see what Duncan wants. Ugh. <laughs> as much as I don't want to know. We'll see our new house kindly given to us by Bella. Meet the maid, hopefully. Um... And then, I guess, get started on the tasks, uh, the goals, meeting all the neighbours. I don't know what to do. I just want to do, like, jazz hands because I don't know how to end this. I, d I don't actually... Uh, thank you for watching. Yeah. I can't think of anything to say that's, like, meaningful. Like, is it kind? Is it necessary? Is it inspiring? Like, I can't think of anything. Oh. See? Came... It took too long, like, trying to come up with an outro and it just... It's, it's depleted my mental resources, I guess. <laughs> Sorry this took like a million years. I'm hoping for more consistency with this series, you know. Um, it would be nice to get it done like every other week. I don't want to like make any promises because I'm not very reliable. <laughs> you know, I'm not very good at being consistent because my body is not very consistent. My spoons level, never the same, right? I can never predict. Sorry, <laughs> my life story. <laughs> so, of course, please remember to stay safe, be good, and most of all, happy sending. I'll see you next time, hopefully. <laughs>